What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Scott One coming to you with another review. Today we're looking at one from Mont Blanc, but before we get into that, let's roll my music. Today we're looking at one from Mont Blanc, and that one that we're looking at is no other than Star Walker Extreme. Now, first off, I'm here to tell you, if you're used to the way the normal Star Walker smells, it's completely different. This one might as well be called uh, Star Walker Night instead of a stream. First off, you can look at the bottle, and that's the big difference. The original Star Walker has that clear bottle with the blue light juice, bluish purple, or whatever. This one right here has a dark tinted bottle. I'm not quite sure what color the juice is because it's a tinted bottle. But, like I said, it's a completely different scent, and we're going to get into that in just a second. Let's take a look at this presentation. This one still has a Star Trek theme, uh, Star Walker written right there, stream right up under it, Mont Blanc right at the very bottom. Mont Blanc symbol is right there up top. If you're not familiar with Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc makes some very expensive pens. Some of them are like $900, sometimes more, sometimes less. But their primary thing is pens. I got this Mont Blanc Star Walker Extreme from TJ Maxx for about $25. It's in a 2.5 ounce bottle, 75 mil. You know what? Let's go ahead and get into this fragrance, man. Pretty decent sprayer. Up top, I get apple. I get lemon and tonka bean. Those are the first three things I get off top. And after about 15 minutes, that apple starts to fade away and the saltiness from the sea notes that's in this fragrance start to come out along with the lavender and geranium. That geranium gives it like a rosy type scent, but not quite. And like I said, throughout the duration of this fragrance, you're still gonna get that tonka bean. That's something that never goes away. 30 minutes in, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you're left with. You're left with tonka bean, an aquatic lavender and geranium, a little bit rosy. Near the base, it basically just turns into tonka bean and a little bit of salt. Star Walker Extreme is not big on projection. It doesn't last long at all. Um, I would say about three hours and this complete scent is going off of your skin. Your best hours for this one is maybe the first hour. I would recommend Star Walker Extreme for a date movie night at home with that significant other, or maybe even for the office. But if you're looking for this to be a powerhouse, this is not a powerhouse. Just like the first Star Walker, it's not happening. But anyway, that's all I have to say about Star Walker Extreme. Uh, but now let's get into the official note breakdown of Star Walker Extreme by Mont Blanc. At the top, you have apple, pineapple, mandarin orange, and lemon. And in the mid, you have sea notes, lavender, and geranium. And in the base, you have tonka bean, sandalwood, and patchouli. 25 bucks. You can beat it. I definitely would recommend that you buy this one, but don't look for anything spectacular. This has been a review of Star Walker Extreme. Um, the first Star Walker, like I said, it smells nothing like this one. This one should be called Star Walker Night. That's what y'all need to change this to, Star Walker Night. Um, that Tonka Bean is the only thing that really keeps me interested in this fragrance. Um, so by both of them being so cheap, Hey, why not? Spend 25 on Star Walker Extreme and 25 on a regular Star Walker. You got a day and night fragrance. Uh, this has been Mr. Scott on one. I appreciate you taking your time to listen to this review. And if you like content like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And until then, look good, feel good, smell good. And I'll catch you later.